Hello, my name is Luke Kisler, uh, Luke uh, K I S Z L A, and I'm from Mobile, Alabama, and I'm a, a sophomore majoring in history and with a minor in theater. Tell me about this project that's going on here. Uh, this project uh, is called the Athletic Community Environment, known as the ACE for short, and uh, this is a space that used to be uh, two tennis courts out here, and you can see the park behind us with the baseball diamonds, and it used to have a batting cage in the corner. And what we're trying to achieve this year is to uh, tear up this old cracked asphalt surface you can see all around and give them a flat surface to repave in the coming projects and uh, give them a functioning batting cage that both teams can use. What was the process to make this happen? Uh, it started off with, uh, actually this is a, a, an idea that it was conceived by two of our uh, two of our now junior fellows at Alabama last year, but they weren't able to do any work on it due to the tornado on April 27th. So this is us kind of taking their project and building upon it and making it our own and just helping get it started so that we can provide them with a multi-sport recreational facility in Douglas Moore. It's pretty hot out here. How are you handling the conditions and making this project work? <laughs> well, like I said, I'm from Mobile, Alabama, but my, uh, my partner Matt is from Ohio, so he, <laughs> we've had to do a little bit of work getting him used to it. But he's, he's been a trooper. The words partner, inspire, change, which of those three do you think most describes what you're doing? What we're doing is uh, uh, inspire. Partner would definitely be a, a very close second, but we're really looking to inspire following classes and the rest of the community to help pitch in and help us realize this goal of the this beautiful recreational facility that we have currently in mind. Right now, since we're not able to really achieve it all ourselves or bring it up in these three weeks, we're really hoping that this will inspire the rest to continue the work and to give this community what it needs and deserves. This is not traditional way of learning. No <laughs> PowerPoints for this class. Right, no, no. There's, there's been a couple speakers, but this is really hands-on. Uh, I like it. You know, I... Um, I've been kind of an amateur handyman with my dad around. I like working with my hands, so it's been really great to do some direct service and reach the community through that means. It's been a lot more suited to me rather than going out or making PowerPoints or doing behind-the-scenes studies. You know, I, I said I'm a, a theater minor. I kind of like hogging the, the heavy work and being out there in person. Anything else you want to add? Not really, other than it's going really well, and it's been we've received a lot of support from this community and surrounding communities, and. Uh, a lot of donations from schools around the area, and it's been it's been great. Everyone's come together, and I'm excited to see what'll come out of it. Now your work made it on the front page of the Tuscaloosa News, right? Right. Yes. It was uh it was really great to know that uh that people were that interested in it. Really, we came out here and you it's really secluded, and we were really worried that uh that no one would be coming out here to give us support. And uh, making it on the front page of the Tuscaloosa News has helped a lot of people in this community and all around, kind of rally up behind us and. Uh, it's been really encouraging, you know, you can see it's tough work and me and my team and my partner Matt, just it's been tough on us, but little things like that make it just e even easier. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.